Hi, I'm Lorna. Um, I was asked a week or so ago by King of Kooks Media to um, film some of the funny things that I do to keep myself sane during this, um, what is a lockdown. <laughs> You're gonna hear some moments where I'm not not quite as happy as I normally am. You will also see um, that other people form part of what's important to me and what's helping me get through this, especially my children and my hubby who doesn't feature much in this because he doesn't like being on camera. Um, but um, all in all, I think what I've found or what I've discovered um, about lockdown and about me is that I haven't coped as well as I thought I might if I'm honest um, and that activity doing fun things that make me feel happy is really important to me so um, hopefully you'll enjoy it <laughs> if not you can have a laugh <laughs> so we're gonna go for a run I'm just waiting for the GPS on Maddie's watch to update and we're off Okay, so we've just been on our run and we have just found all of this rubbish. So, I'm gonna pick some of it up. Because it's nasty and I can dispose of it. Come on, lads, well done. Oh, I don't even wanna know what that is. Oh, there's so much rubbish. Just in our verges. The run's supposed to be making me feel better. <sighs> I do feel better though. Do you feel better? Yeah. What is that? Orange juice. Orange juice. Drink, no thanks. Oh, it's got bugs on it. Right, hand that. Okay, and there's a straw there as well. What happens to straws, Mads? Stuck up turtles' noses. Stuck up turtles' noses. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's carry on. So I'm out for my morning run. I'm out for my morning run. I don't normally stop and pay much attention, but I've just seen these two pheasants in the field. And do you know, I don't know why, I just think they're great. I'm gonna show you if I can. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Where are they? Yeah, they look much further away on the camera than they did in person. <clears throat> but just minding their own business. Coronavirus is not affecting them. Hi, lovely. So, I've just been for a really quick run. And um, now I am about to join one of the fitness classes, online fitness classes with Leanne, who is a fellow surfer, but she's from Wales. Um, she's a fitness instructor, so we are going to do her surf fitness so we can keep our paddle fitness and everything else up. So I will film a little bit of that for you um, so you can see what that's all about. So I've just finished a um, online fitness class, which was fun. I got to, oh, can't see me. I got to incorporate my paddle. Um, so that was really good, I'm feeling much better um, after doing that and a little run. It's been a tough day today, uh, Monday. I had to go to work. Um, we're still getting lots of people that don't need to be out and about or about. Um, so yeah, anyway, feel loads better now I've done my online, my online 
exercise class because I'm used to doing um, boot camp three mornings a week so it's been tough not doing those um, classes every three days um, anyway catch you in a bit so yesterday I had planned on cycling or walking or running to the beach to see the sea because the waves looked really nice on the webcam yesterday um, but instead I've got my skate on I've, I'm lucky enough to have a um, handboard skateboard, which is a really long skateboard, um, which is fantastic for practicing cross-stepping on. That has been a real source of um, outlet and fun for me. It's imitating surfing to some respect, although concrete is a lot harder than water. much better on yesterday than I had done the day before which was good um, and also I've been learning to cross step a bit more confidently on the longboard um, which was a success yesterday so maybe later I think the plan is to maybe go around the corner from my house and skate from there it's a bit of a slope um, but speed is, speed is my friend apparently I now need to get on to work, so I'll speak to you later. dogs so that's quite nice can you hear the birds so nice isn't it good morning um 8am on Saturday, um, early I know for a Saturday, but I'm really missing my routines, so this morning I'm going to do some yoga, I've got my mat, um, it's another online class, I'm really enjoying the online classes, they've been a, a real source of um, making me feel connected with other people, um, but I can do it in my PJs. <laughs> I'm really missing the sea right now. Um, so I'm hoping that the yoga will give me um, something to focus on this morning before I start the rest of my day. Um, I've been doing, as you might have seen, I've been doing a, a little bit of running recently. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit tight in my legs. Um, so stretching out my hip flexors um, with a real focus to um, still being able to move around on my surfboard properly. Um, once we get back in the water, we'll be um, good to, to keep that flexibility. This morning I had a really bad night, so this morning I got up and I did a meditation. Um, another online one, there's so much online content, it's amazing. Um, 
and I've decided to walk to work this morning. Um, mainly because I wanted to get a bit more fresh air before I start my job. But also maybe hopefully clear my head because it wasn't I didn't sleep very well. Um, don't know why. It just seems to be a bit of a a thing with me at the moment. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're walking to work. Um, I just need to show you the sunshine. That is lush, isn't it? The sun is just behind that tree. I just want to show you these because they make me happy. Look at the dandelions. This is on my walk to work. How nice are they? Do I smell? Oh, you scared. How was the cycle down then, guys? Fine. Hot. Hot. Yeah, it wasn't really that hard. This will be the first time we've seen the sea since in real last life week. since we did a run. We didn't get that close to it then. That looks beautiful. Oh, I wish I had my board, but never mind. Won't be long. And we'll all be allowed back in. Let's get ready to go. I'm a local surfer from Westwood Ho and North Devon. Um, I am a self-proclaimed surf addict um, and I'm finding things pretty tough with regards to the whole self-isolation and um, social distancing. Um, I will be doing an awful lot of visualisation this coming week with regards to surfing. I could just see myself paddling out and catching those waves. Doing my head in, there's all these people with their surfboards, and I couldn't carry mine down. <laughs> Obviously. Well, that was lush! Really cold. Well, it's as much cold as ever. I finally got my sea fix. You can see there's a fair few people out surfing, but they are only tiny waves. Um, and I'm just grateful that I've been able to cycle down and get my um, fix for the moment. You can see there's quite a few people surfing out there at the moment getting really quite busy actually so I think social distancing in the sea is going to be a bit of an issue later if they keep on coming uh, but the waves are super tiny um, so for someone like me who currently is enjoying my long boards it would have been perfect but as it was it was lovely I am definitely not a body surfer <laughs> how many waves did I catch on the body surfing no. <laughs> none <laughs> But I still have fun and I feel like I've, I feel much better. So that's great, as you can tell by my smile. <laughs> I am not natural at this. I like it, my hair's quite nice though. A bit B-roll for you.